Let's go explore Geneva. I've got my winter coat on and hope I will be warm enough outside today because I don't know how cold it is. Let's go. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we've been on here. I traveled from Montenegro to Serbia and stopped over here in Switzerland for a few days. So I'm here for about 36 hours to explore Geneva and all it has to offer. I am working on the road, I'm a digital nomad. So we spent the morning working and now we're going into the city center to explore what there is to offer. Currently I'm choosing to walk because although it's cold out, <laughs> it might be like five degrees. Celsius. Yeah, it's just good to get outside and walk and explore and then later on the way home I always suggest walking there and when you're tired you can bus home. So let's go explore. So you might be wondering why Geneva and there's really no better explanation than it's a layover from one destination to the next and I'm really lucky to have family that's actually living here right now so that's the main reason I'm here I have been to Switzerland apparently as a kid I've driven through the country but I am back just to explore definitely is de on the more expensive side of European countries I could be going to so I won't be spending a lot of time here but I'm excited to see what's available eat some cheese some chocolate and all the patisseries I've had two croissants already this morning it's been Quite lovely. Okay, so my first impressions of Geneva is I'm obsessed with how many different types of bicycles there are. There's people who are transporting goods, they've got their children on it, they've got electric, they've got regular. It's winter time right now and people are still out and cycling and using mopeds, which I think is so fantastic. So uh, for the station, for one day it is two francs, for a week it is seven. And you can put your bike inside. I wish I spoke French. It's definitely a different vibe down here by the river and I think in the summertime this place is probably packed with people drinking and just eating a croissant so I can only imagine but it's quite lovely here. Definitely hearing French because I'm on the western side so it's mostly French speaking and big corporate kind of people on the phone right now because it is a weekday as I film right now but overall pretty good <laughs> so I'm just walking by with a cigarette but I'm enjoying myself and I think I'll just keep walking around until I find a cafe for maybe a coffee. Uh, un café pour... Um, s'il vous plaît, un café, s'il vous plaît. I've been working on my Portuguese too much. Walking has led me to Parc de Anglais, English Park. I'm just enjoying the lake here and I'm starting to get hungry. So the question is, do we just find the first boulangerie we see and grab a sandwich and hope that there's no meat in it because I'm vegetarian? If you didn't know that, I'm like a cheat again is what I call myself. And also a, a friend of mine recently called themselves a French again. So like you're a vegan, but you eat cheese because you love cheese. And if you're in like France or Switzerland, you have to eat cheese. I've got a couple of places pinned on my Google Maps and I think I'm going to maybe 
walk towards one of them that's kind of a tactic i use often is you pin somewhere on the map and start walking towards if you find something better that catches your eye your price tag your taste bud desires then i'll go inside but otherwise we'll just keep walking around and um, definitely have explored more of the shopping area more of the corporate area and it's beautiful here and i feel like there may be mountains behind these clouds but as you can see in the sky it's just like one big cloud today pretty overcast and so i can't quite see it for all its glory but it's still pretty nice I think my strategy here is that I'm going to walk towards a coffee shop called the Barista Lab, which looks really yummy. And even the guy from the Miami Heat apparently just had coffee there. Don't even know who he is, but anyway. My strategy is I'm gonna walk towards there to get coffee. I'm actually quite hungry, I realized. So I'm gonna use that as my path and my direction um, to walk. And then I'm going to see if there's a sandwich shop on the way, a boulangerie. A patisserie. And also I could take transit. I'm not sure how much it costs. You can buy tickets at every single bus stop and like metro station. They take card. They even take euro coins it looked like and you can tap your card. Everything here is pretty much a credit card. And I could take the transit. It says about 20 minutes or a 28 minute walk. So time wise it's pretty comparable considering I'll probably have to wait for the transit. So I figured I might as well walk towards a coffee shop, stop for a sandwich, get a coffee eventually and then I'll make my way home a little bit later and tomorrow we'll explore a different part of town. Okay, we locked in a sandwich, just bread and cheese, like last night's dinner for 450 francs. No clue what that is in euros, haven't really figured out the conversion. And I walked quite a bit and I need to use the toilet. I don't have one. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this as I walk to that coffee shop and then I can also warm my hands up. <laughs> There's pickles. That's a nice surprise, a little mustard. Pretty good. It's my first time having pea milk for cappuccino. It's totally fine. It's not sweet at all. And then I also got a vegan cookie. All right, that was a yummy coffee. I did look at my credit card after and it was about 16 Canadian for a coffee and a cookie. I also calculated an espresso there is 3 francs and 90 cents, which is about four euros which is like six Canadian, so that's insane for me to each their own, right? The cookie was okay, not, I would like not itch to get again, but the pea milk was a very interesting situation because it was very neutral flavor. Does not taste like peas because I hated peas as a kid. But yeah, I'm surprised by it and I would order it again if offered. Just a nice cozy vibe, just hung out there for a little bit and now we're gonna start a 45 minute walk home. Yeah, it, it gets dark here really quick. So I feel like that's it for today and I'm kind of cold and then we'll begin exploring a little bit more tomorrow. Last bit as I walk to where I call home right now. It's okay to remember that you can be like, quote unquote, normal commute home and listen to a podcast, even when you're a tourist. So I'm just walking home with all the kids in the traffic. And yeah, just gonna enjoy my 30 minute walk. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It's barely morning still. We're off exploring day two here in Switzerland in the Geneva area, and it's raining. What a great day for exploring and vlogging. Not. I've decided that I'm gonna take um, a train ride to a little bit 
guess northeast of the Geneva city center to a town called Nyon, N-Y-O-N. It was suggested to me because of its picturesque architecture and kind of cutesy characteristic buildings. So I'm excited to explore it and find out what it has to offer. Maybe get myself a fancy sandwich there. So yeah, we're off exploring. Also, if I reiterated yesterday that language-wise, um, it's very French predominant here, but everyone has spoken English and I'm trying to remember as much French from my grade four to seven years as possible. And I feel like at least my bonjour merci is not the worst accent. You can comment below if you think different, but let's get walking to the train station. at the train station and I just thought I would include this cost one franc and 50 cents 150 in francs to enter it's like the cleanest washroom ever but I wish I didn't have to go because that's a lot of money good thing I walked here <laughs> What I did figure out with the ticket is a half fare is basically like a discount card. So you must have had to purchase the half fare card to be able to purchase a half fare ticket. Probably something that's welcome to residents of Switzerland or, you know, students and this kind of thing. So I paid a full fare, which was nine francs and 40 cents, which is like probably 20 Canadian <laughs> um, to go about 15 minutes on the train. I could have rushed it and tried to grab one that was like two minutes away, but honestly, the train station is so busy and it would just be better for me to wait 20 minutes. So I've got about 18 more minutes, but temperatures quite even so we'll just hang out at the train station. So I have arrived in Lyon and the weather is sh <laughs> So I don't know how much vlogging is going to happen because I'm going to have to be under the umbrella the whole time. But basically I'm walking around the old town or I don't even, it's not the old town. Got Balkan in my head. Yeah, just walking around the town, exploring the buildings, seeing if I can stay dry and warm. <laughs> plans I decided to get myself a sandwich and I said do you have anything with no meat and she's like huh and I was like no j'aime bon just fromage she said bon good appétit I know French I have to say I think I love these cheese sandwiches because there's Dijon in them maybe better than the Italians I don't know why I got food either but just was feeling it. So it's a bit of a dead town. <laughs> There's not really anybody, really anybody out on the streets. Now it is a holiday season and I don't know if that's why, but there's like no shops open, which is kind of a blessing in disguise because then I kind of get it all to myself and look at these cute little buildings and it's nice to not have to walk around people, but also maybe they're the smart ones who aren't going outside when it's raining and cold like this. My toe is starting to get wet. Mm -hmm. 